Five drinks for the three of us. What do you want? Water. Get us something Japanese. Thank you. Oh, no, no, he said thank you. Something very Japanese. It's a yogurt drink. Mmm. It's good. I think it's been a great launch. This was probably also the most talked about tech launch in the last couple of years as well. So what we're seeing is that all across the world, we're converting a lot more iPhone users than every other Android brand. So our thesis that people want to see an alternative to Apple is beginning to come true. Yeah, it's been a whirlwind after the launch. I've been traveling a lot. I've been to India, I've been to Germany. Now I'm here in Japan. The India trip was packed with three different cities, meeting our community. So our team is in Japan to really understand the market. I think when you're just reading about it on Google, on Wikipedia, it's very different from being here on the ground. Japan is definitely a market where they can really appreciate design. Like, just look at how people are dressed. There's definitely that market here. Looking forward to being home for a bit. Home, what's, uh, where's home? I'm staying in a fixed apartment in London. Um, it took a bit of time to get it, but before that I was sleeping on my friend's floor. On the mezzanine. During the hottest year of London summer, without AC. <laughs> God, that's all my questions, man. Do you have anything else to add? Let's make tech fun again. Comes across as sophisticated and respectful to the user a really solid user experience, and a really distinctive design. So what's next? I never knew anything like this in the whole of my life. It's arguably the most challenging time to bring a new product to market. If you're not differentiating, why should you be in the game? How do you stand out in that market? It's a different view, a different experience of our existence. to see you purple. Oh. What's good? The sneakers. Have you done anything new on Web3? We've been just following up a lot with our community. Mm -hmm. So we released our NFT, did the metaverse, and then we've been doing like the Coachella show. When I saw you, we did the 3D printed sneaker yeah. that comes with the NFT. And after that, yeah, we've been just doing a lot of activities. Yeah, so we're, we're launching these products in Japan. Do you have any advice for us? This is what we call the ear stick. Yeah. So inspired by a lipstick. Dope, may I? Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's super dope. So like I was saying, the design element is there for people to like get more exposed to this and understand your ethos. Yeah, Japan's definitely a different market. Um, it has always had its own ecosystem. And so when people come from overseas, no matter how big you are, even when Kanye comes to Japan, he appreciates the fact that, you know, when we're just walking down the street, like we would meet here and then walk to, one time we walked all the way to Shinjuku and like no one recognized him and he loved that. Japanese people appreciate Western aesthetics and culture, but then they make it their own. So they're, you know, I would kind of liken it to like a remix culture, whether it's food or art or anything. They make everything, they take that inspiration and kind of, you know, create their own rendition of it. It's our first business trip here to Japan. Um, definitely feels like there's a lot more to learn and this is just the beginning. Yeah, my meeting with Carl was really cool. Just kind of catching up as always. The new Nothing products are beautiful. I feel like it's a cool alternative um, to the different products we have. And yeah, I'm just really excited for what he's doing, you know. Oh God, it feels like your phone's been out for over a year. That's always really nice to see so many people excited for the phone and talking about it. And now straight back into a new product launch. So yeah, and also we've still got the phone going. It's double, double the adventures. So today it's another first for nothing. It's their first London Fashion Week project. We're working with an on-scheduled designer. So Chet will be debuting his latest collection at London Fashion Week at the Old Selfridges Hotel. His work is incredible. His designs are futuristic. This will be the first time that the ear stick will ever, ever be seen in public, which is really, really fucking cool. 
He's designed a really special accessory for us, a custom bag specifically for Nothing product, which will hold the phone and the ear stick. I have to have it. Hi. 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 Oh my God. Hi. Hi team, Hi, I'm Nina. <laughs> but welcome to the humble abode. Oh, I love it. So this is the bag. It's very easy, you're like, hello. Yeah. You're fired. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I really yeah. like it. I think it's I very love cute. It. Yeah. This, the beautiful ear sticks. Um, this is the first time that you're going to be seeing it. These yeah. are like, this is our brand new, like, product actually at your show is going to be the first time oh this is like the first first time yeah oh, okay. like, wow. it's a world exclusive so okay. as well as all your beautiful brand new designs this We've feels got like brand new christmas so yeah there oh you go there i love you go. gifts <laughs> thank you guys wow. so much i'm so excited wow Oh my God, wait, this is very classy. I didn't realize it like twisted open. That is so nice. Yeah. I feel you, like, like you... they're secure and they feel really nice. What? I just <laughs> love twisting it so much. It's I so find fun. it so relaxing. Yeah, definitely. Maybe if you're having a moment and need some. It's basically oh. a fidget spinner, you know? Yes, <laughs> yes. This is the messy kind of like managerial table where we kind of just plan exactly how the collection is going down and all the deadlines and everything. So this is always where like I'm really stressed out. This is like my most stressful area. We have our knitting machine where the magic is made. Um, this I got like two years ago and she's literally the backbone of my entire life, <laughs> my entire business. Um, so like, as you can see, like when we knit it, it's all knitted everything. So it comes off the machine like spiky. Um, so a lot of people think that we actually like boil it or like we press it to make the shapes um, but actually it, like we've we had to figure out exactly the tensions and everything of getting the spikes to come out in a certain way. But for us, it was a lot of math. It's a lot of maths, actually. So how did you and Carl end up working together? So basically, it was like this kind of um, tour that I was doing with Dazed. And then Carl was like, oh, I've developed this phone. It's really cool and amazing. And I was like, oh, great. And he showed it to me. And I was like, oh my god, I've seen this phone everywhere. I can't believe I'm meeting you because I love this phone. It's super cool. And like, nothing is just so design focused. And I think that was really important for me as well. And then also just the ideas that like it is so based on transparency and a lot of my work is really based on transparency as well and so I thought actually like it fit into the collection perfectly but also I love the light up capabilities of it because I thought that was so great like conceptually so it was like a no-brainer for me we're creating these little dinky phone bags and so I thought it was perfect when nothing approached and I was like oh like this phone can slip perfectly into this little bag but also the fact that it lit up was so amazing because our knits are transparent so you'll be able to see it lighting up through the material which I thought was so cool so I'm really excited we're making these phone bags and then also around like the ear sticks we're creating these like amazing floral earrings and like floral head pieces that will really draw the attention to the ear sticks too so I'm excited it's a pretty nice size, actually. I, yeah. Do you know what we were talking about, Akis? Life casting. Try your... Uh, oh, no, this is so oh. embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. All right, guys, <laughs> fine. You're in. Let's... <laughs> <laughs> what we were talking about, and I don't know if this is possible and if I've made this up, can we customise a glyph for Chet? For uh, the show? We could really a really one-off like raymond is going to be happy about it but I <laughs> yeah <laughs> literally but it's so, so nice and it, like if it rests in the ear so well as well i'm like obsessed with it i think it's really beautiful yeah, thank you so, so much nice to see you. have a beautiful day thank you too dot exclusive preview of your stick really really cool 12 lucky dot holders will get the chance to see your stick before everyone else. And I'm, I'm even going to let them do a little unboxing just to make things a bit more exciting. Hey, you made it. So we moved some stuff around here. We didn't want to move because it's a lot of your tools. So we just so we're going to have a little meet and greet. So we get everyone to sign the, you know, the, the paperwork that they have signed. What do they have? Uh, paperwork? They have to have paperwork because we haven't, we haven't launched it yet. So 
They need to be very, very secretive and uh, discreet about what they're seeing today. We had to filter through quite a few people that, um, that applied to come today. So yeah, pretty exclusive. And then we're, we're actually quite excited to, to get to know these people face to face. What are you going to go do now? We'll let you go. Get some donuts, you know, and some, some, some drinks. Wait, what, which way is Desco? Thanks. So welcome, welcome to our first DOT exclusive preview. I hope you have a good time tonight, okay? We will start with a presentation on brand and the product itself. We want to work against an industry that is stagnant and that kind of only follows old wheel tracks. And we want to build something that brings joy back to tech and a feeling of future kind of belief. We've kind of collated the story of the product. What is Eristic? What is the selling point? And what we think the value is that we can bring to you guys. It's just a product that we're very excited about. It looks very different to Air One. Yeah, we should test the product now. Hello, hello. Grab a seat, grab a seat. Right, I passed the baton. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> no, it's, it's an no, I got the right yeah. yeah. I think it's the good. click is satisfying. Yeah. Yeah. I actually quite like it. I, it reminds me of the Ear One where it has that playful element that's yet functional. You can play around with it, but again, it's functional because it holds in and encases and keeps the earbuds safe. The pattern does feel really nice. Yeah. Like you just want to stroke it. <laughs> I definitely prefer yes. this shape than the ear one, like yeah. as a case to carry. Yeah. Yeah. Just like we're walking around. Yeah. They're extremely light. Mm. 4.4. Oh, yeah. Like mm. you can. But what do you want? Like five something? 4.7. Mm -hmm. AirPods, 5.2. <laughs> just, just put it out there. There you go, boys. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. pretty rounded. Mm -hmm. It's good. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. That the, the separation is really good in the sound. They feel very light on the ear, so I wouldn't notice them after a while, I feel like. I mean, it's the weight and also like the fit. They sound pretty good. I haven't had um, headphones that are like semi in and out. Normally I just have headphones that are fully in ear. I can't hear you, so. Yeah. <laughs> I would buy these as my kind of office use buds. Um, really good for calls, simple in and out not too uncomfortable for long periods of time. They'd make a great gift for someone. You know, it's different. You know, the surprise element of the unpackaging and seeing them playing with it, that's cool. Yeah, I probably would buy them. Mm -hmm. Thanks yeah. for all your feedback. Thanks it was really nice getting nice, something yes. fresh. Um, and please remember not to talk about this outside yes. of yes. this yeah. slash building. So uh, I'm, I'm a dot holder and um, got an invite which I didn't think I'd get accepted to come and see the new product. Didn't really know anything about it. Um, and I've come, had a really, really interesting presentation from some of the team. When I was 15, like it, it was my dream to, to work at a design company building future tech. Like that, you know, I'm just like reliving that a bit, I think, which is sick. Dude, I'm in the design office, you know, like, could you imagine going into Johnny Ive's design studio in year two of Apple? Like, that doesn't happen. You know, and I think for me, I'm, I'm an, I love design, I love tech, and it's, it's just amazing to have this opportunity to be able to be here, meet people, meet the team, have a bit of insight. I think that's great. Trying out the product, for me, I think it's a new approach to a common device. Um, strange, funky, and I, and I like that. Um, made me smile just twisting it. When I first saw the visual, I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, what is this? Completely different format to anything I've seen before. But I think it fits into the principle of like making tech fun. It's definitely something that's new and exciting. And you kind of want to interact with it and get your hands on it. <laughs> I, I, I describe myself as a tech enthusiast, but really I'm just like enthusiastic about tech. And it's really nice to talk to everyone. And it's just like a nicer uh, environment. It's nice to, for them to educate me, for just us to chat about our kind of like passion about tech in general. We're at London Fashion Week. Uh, we're at the Old Selfridges Hotel for Chet Lowe's runway show. We've got a beautiful creative partnership happening with Chet. So what viewers of the show can expect to see? 
our phone one going down the runway in custom pouches along with the ear stick so it'll be the first time anyone sees them. Back of house we also have a shoot for some extra content for some stills happening so it's very very active. Um, this is the hair and makeup area this is where everyone's getting glammed up in there is a dressing area which is off bounds it's going to be quite a quite a busy environment we've literally got i think just under an hour to turn everything around before it's a hard exit so it's going to be very exciting if the show runs over and that time is reduced it's looking like things are running on time but we're just going to have to wait and see it's quite tense backstage so timings pre-show is tense because you need to get everyone glammed up dressed and actually walking so there's that part of it but also making sure the music the lighting and everything is working so As I come cute. Here, oh. she's so cute i actually cannot wait to see the show um it's going to be beautiful everything's looking incredible I just love seeing like everything come together in the end result. For me, it's my favorite part. I would say it surpassed my expectations. I'm really happy. I mean, all the models walked through and I think I got my message across, so I'm really content. I think it was like really artfully done and but still like like still weaving in the, like the DNA of the brand, but still introducing this cool tech company. I think it was really cool. So I'm really happy about it. It was uh, more or less what we expected, but even better, I think. Oh my god, it was incredible. It was so dynamic, so creative, so inspiring. I think it was an incredible, incredible collaboration because when you see nothing and the glyph that was created, you can see all these like really beautiful colors and shapes, which I think com combined together, they make the perfect sense. Anytime you walk into a partnership with someone who has his or own, you know, own vision, you know, we have ours, they have theirs, but we need to always, you know, try to find the common ground. It, it really is, is a win-win, I think, for, for, for both of us. I'm proud. I'm very proud. I'm proud of my girls. I'm proud of my team. I'm proud of everybody. Like, I think we really smashed it, so I'm really happy. Yeah. Everyone says that it was really good, so <laughs> I'm hoping they weren't lying. <laughs>